Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we'll discuss solutions to the questions in paper 1 of the 2013 J.E. Advanced Physics paper. The order I'll be following will be the same as in code 0, but in any other order the questions will be the same, just the order will be different, so you can figure that out for yourself. Uh, the next question is a straightforward application of the lens formula. First of all, we are given that the wavelength of light inside the lens is two-thirds of that in free space. So the speed inside the lens is equal to 2 by 3 times the speed inside free space, which means that mu has to be 3 by 2 because mu is inversely proportional to the speed. Right. Also, what we are given is a distance behind the lens is the image. So V is equal to positive 8. I'll just draw the figure for the sake of convenience. We don't know what type of lens it is. It's a planar convex lens. But we are not given exactly which side the plane part is. So I'll just uh, draw a random lens here. That doesn't matter. We know that V is positive 8 because these are the directions of the incident rays. And it is one third the size of the object. So from that we know that m is equal to minus 1 by 3 because it is also real and we need to find out the radius of the curved surface right so whatever it is we know one surface is flat one surface is curved it doesn't matter which one it is actually both of them will give the same focal length so m is equal to minus 1 by 3 which basically gives us v by u is equal to minus 1 by 3 which gives me u is equal to minus 3v which is minus 24 now just straightforward application of the lens formula 1 by 8 minus 1 by minus 24 is equal to 1 by f 3 by 24 plus 1 by 24 4 by 24 which means f comes out to be equal to 6 but what is f equal to f is equal to mu minus 1 that is 3 by 2 minus 1 times 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 now if this is the plane surface and this is the curved one then we have 1 by infinity because this is the plane surface minus 1 by a negative number so we still have 1 by r if this is curved and this is plane we have 1 by r minus 1 by infinity so both of them give the same thing so 1 by 2 r and this is this is actually not f this this is equal to 1 by f right so which gives me f is equal to 2 r or r is equal to 3 which means the answer is C. Okay. So this completes the solution. Thank you.